In this video, we will go over using the topology editor in the Balif engineering tool. For our setup, we have a PC that is running the Balif engineering tool that has an IP address that's in the same subnetwork as our Balif Ethernet IP IO link network. There are two Balif Ethernet IP nodes on the network along with other Ethernet IP devices along with the Ethernet IP PLC. The first step after opening the Balf engineering tool is to log in. There are different roles that you could log in under. Under a user login, you only have viewing of the topology. Under admin and expert login, you are then allowed to change the topology as well as edit the topology. In this example, we have logged in under expert mode. Once logged in, you could select import topology. When you select import topology, a pop-up appears where you could either drag in the topology files into the box, or once you click on them, you could browse for the topology on your PC. Here we have selected a topology. When the topology is selected, it gets loaded into the tool. There's a separate box here that allows you to set the device settings. Once this is checked, what that would mean is that all the IO link parameters on the devices would be written to the IO link devices on the network. Otherwise, if you select open topology, that will just open all the topology. Another pop-up box will appear telling you that the parameters are not updated on your IO link devices. Selecting the update parameters here will also update the parameters onto the IO link devices in the field. The other option would be to scan in the current topology. This can be done by clicking on the scan button on the right hand side. Clicking on a button, you must first select the Ethernet interface that the PC is connected to. Next, type in the network range of the Balif Ethernet modules that the scan would be scanning for. There is a box here for switching on all IO link ports. If the PLC is not connected, you must select this box so that all IO link ports get enabled on the Balif network modules. After this is done, click on the scan button. The Balif engineering tool will then send out a UDP Ethernet packet to communicate with all Balif Ethernet IO link devices. As the IO link devices are found, it would appear on the screen. This process might take a while. After the search is complete and all the da incoming data is shown, all the Ethernet Balif modules will appear along with the IO link devices connected to the modules. Any other non Balif Ethernet modules will also appear with the IP address and show up as a generic TCP device. Once this is done, to add the devices into topology, click on the Add to Topology button on the right. You, you may uncheck the other devices that you do not want to add to your topology. After this is done, click on the Add to Topology button. This will bring all the devices into the Balf Engineering tool. From here, you can modify and reposition the modules as you seem fit. The IO link description file, or IODD, for all Balif IO link devices are preloaded into the Balif engineering tool. Any device that which does not have the IODD file preloaded will appear as the IO link symbol. Loading the IODD file for the device can be done by double clicking on that particular device. Once double clicked on there, a window will appear to allow you to open the IODD finder. Clicking on the IODD finder when the PC has an internet connection, will bring up the IO link website. From there, the tool will try to provide a choice for the IODD file to download. If not enough information is available, by typing in the manufacturer or the product name, the tool will then filter to the correct part number. Once the correct IODD file is found, download the IODD file by clicking on the button on the left hand side. Once the IODD file has been downloaded, 
Select Back to go back into the main view. Next, select Edit Topology. From here, the device catalog of all the IO Link's IODD file can be found. Select Import Device to import the IODD file that was just downloaded. From here, you could either drag in the IODD file or you could click on it to browse for the IODD file. Once successfully downloaded, the IOLink device itself would appear in the device catalog. From there, you could do a search by typing in the part number of the IOLink device. IOLink devices can be added or changed in the topology editor. To delete an IOLink device, right click on the IOLink device and select Delete Device. To add in an IOLink device, select Edit Topology. This will bring up the device catalog. You can start typing in the part number of the IOLink device. Once the IOLink device is found, drag that into the topology. Once the IOLink device is dragged into topology, drag a line from the IOLink device into the Ethernet port that the IOLink device is connected to. After this is done, the topology can be saved by clicking on the Save Topology button. When this button is clicked, it will ask you if you want to load all the parameters from the devices onto the topology before saving the topology. Select Load to save all the parameters on this topology on the IO Link devices. Otherwise, select Skip if you do not want to load in all the parameters. From there, a pop-up window will appear where you can name the topology. Once the topology has been saved, if the load parameters from the IOLink device had been used when saving the topology, the next time the topology has been imported, those same parameters would be automatically downloaded into the IOLink device.